President Joseph Biden has announced that he will not be seeking the Democratic Party's nomination for the 2024 presidential election, something a sitting president hasn't done since President Lyndon Baines Johnson in 1968. The president had been at the center of criticism over his mental acuity and his ability to communicate with voters following a number of worrying televised performances, which saw him stumble through a debate with former President Donald Trump, as well as a heavily maligned press conference in which Biden received numerous pointed questions about his decision to continue on with his campaign. As the Democratic National Convention nears, President Biden has endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris, calling naming her vice president as, quote, the best decision he has made in a statement on X. Vice President Harris thanked Biden for his service and said she was honored to have the president's endorsement. The historic news sent shockwaves through social media. As always, when history happens online, there were plenty of jokes as well as endorsements for Harris from some of Biden's strongest supporters. Here are the reactions to President Biden's monumental announcement. While many wonder what the Democratic Party is going to do, comedian and former Daily Show correspondent Roy Wood Jr. is rightfully worried over what this means for the merchandising situation in and around the upcoming Democratic National Convention. Wood wrote on X, DNC merch man who already had them I'm riding with Biden shirts printed up for the convention. Wood's joke highlights a very real truth of the situation, which is that the Democratic Party is set to make a swift course correction after months of Biden's re-election campaign, which only saw primary opposition from fringe figures like Dean Phillips, Marianne Williamson, and Jason Palmer. The Democratic Party will have just around a month to come to a consensus on a ticket, to be named at the upcoming convention in Chicago's United Center between August 19th and 22nd. Adding to the situation, Biden announced he was dropping out of the race on National Ice Cream Day, as pointed out by comedian Ellie Kremendahl. Biden has famously been a fan of the frozen confection, often making pictures of the former senator from Delaware eating ice cream cones as part of his brand. Despite former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton standing firm that the Democratic Party should stand behind Biden in the days leading up to the announcement, former President Bill Clinton took to X to post a statement thanking Biden for his service to the country, saying he and former Secretary Clinton also stand by Biden's endorsement of Vice President Harris for the nomination. The 42nd president wrote, President Biden has capped an extraordinary career of service with a presidency that has lifted America out of the pandemic, created millions of new jobs, rebuilt a battered economy, strengthened our democracy, and restored our standing in the world. President Clinton went on to thank Biden for his work over the last four years in restoring civility. President and Secretary Clinton said they, quote, fully support Biden's endorsement of Harris, reiterating the necessity to combat the threat of a possible Trump presidency. In recent days, former Secretary Clinton has been a staunch advocate for the Democratic Party, standing by Biden's nomination, but has since shared President Clinton's statement further cementing her endorsement of Vice President Harris. President Clinton wrote of the efforts to elect Vice President Harris, America's future depends on it. One who has reportedly been critical of President Biden's ability to defeat former President Trump and Senator J.D. Vance in November is 44th President Barack Obama, under whom Biden served as vice president for eight years. However, President Obama had nothing but kind words for his former VP, thanking Biden for his grace in stepping down as well as his leadership over the last four years. President Obama wrote on Medium in a lengthy response to Biden's decision, Joe Biden has been one of America's most consequential presidents, as well as a dear friend and partner to me. Much like the Clintons, Obama praised Biden's leadership through the COVID-19 pandemic as well as his legislative accomplishments. He said, I know he wouldn't make this decision unless he believed it was right for America. It's a testament to Joe Biden's love of country and a historic example of a genuine public servant once again putting the interests of the American people ahead of his own that future generations of leaders will do well to follow. Obama, along with Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi, had reportedly been central figures in calling for Biden to step down behind the scenes. Representative Pelosi also thanked Biden for his service to the country shortly after Biden's announcement. She wrote, His legacy of vision, values, and leadership make him one of the most consequential presidents in American history. God blessed America with Joe Biden's greatness and goodness.